What's up guys? If you saw my review video that I did this thing, I did a good, the bad, and the ugly review of this bad boy mower. Uh, it's the ZT Elite 747cc. It's got the switch here that allows the deck to go up and down. A lot of times that'll get filled with dirt and trash and stuff and you've got to take it apart and clean it. I'm going to show you today how to do that. So if you'll see right here, there's a little tab on the front side. There'll be a tab on the back side as well. So I'm just going to take a tiny little flathead screwdriver. You saw how that one popped up. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to pop this back one up also. And then that'll release this right here. Okay, what's going to happen, there's going to be two rods in here. You can see them dangling down. Look at all the trash in there. If you can see that, it's just full of dirt and mud and trash. There's going to be two rods that are dangling down up at the top. Those will fall out if you're not careful, so I'm going to remove one. See, they'll come out, but see, it's got dirt and trash on it. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. And we're going to clean those as well. So I'm just going to set those right there off to the side. But these little things right here come out also. So I've got a little pick here that I like to use uh, to get these things out. And I'm going to set these to the side. So there's one. And there's the second one. And then basically you're just going to go in here and just kind of clean this area out. Uh, it's full of dirt and mud and stuff. That's one of the bad things about this is this cover, there's no cover over this. So when it rains or dirt or debris, it'll get down in there and it'll fill this up. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say you can silicone that up, but that's just going to end up holding moisture. So what I've got here is I've got a duster. I like to use this duster and I'll get in here, kind of blow all that out. See how just one shot of the duster immediately cleaned it pretty good. And then I'll do the same thing to the top side. I'll get up in there. Throw a little duster up in there and then I'll come back any extra debris that's in there I'll break it up with this this here's a handy little tool they make these here's another one that you can use it's got a little pick on the end you can get down in there and also I brought some toothbrushes some old toothbrushes that I use that you can kind of get down there and clean as well but basically that's all you're doing you're just making sure that this area down in here is clean because it's getting that dirt in there and it's not letting these contactors and stuff do their job by making contact with those. So I'm going to hit that with the air duster one more time. All right, so now we're done with those. So now I'm going to come over here with these with my toothbrush and now I'm just going to kind of wipe these down a little bit. Get all the good goo and all that stuff out of it. All the way around it got that one clean now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop it back down in there before i lose it because they are small and it just goes down in there like that and you'll see that it just flops back and forth there's your up there's your down and it just gets crud in there and it won't let that thing move back and forth like it's supposed to so let's get the other one here cleaned up Okay, we'll drop that one down in there also. And you can see they're a little bit tricky, but this is a, a job that anybody can do. If my knuckle dragon self can do it, y'all can do it. Okay, got that one in there. So now you'll see we got them both in there. They rock back and forth. There's no dirt, there's no debris, no trash or anything in there. Now I've got my two little tabs here. I'm going to leave that right there. And this is a kind of a tricky part with these tabs. Uh, once you put it up in there, they're going to want to fall. And I just kind of wipe this down with my fingers. So I'm going to see if I can get it to go up in there and hold. And it, you want your pointed end down. So once you take them out, if you forget the pointed end here is going to, is going to point down. So I'm going to push that one up in there. And I've blown that out with the duster. so And there's, it's spring-loaded. So if you can see, I'm pushing on it. And it's coming right back because it is spring-loaded. So you got to be careful because if you take your thumb off too fast, you're just going to pop it out with that spring. So I've got it holding right there. I'm going to be super careful. I've got the other one here clean. And we'll get it up in there. And it's spring-loaded as well. So I've got both of those right there. Being super careful, it's holding. Now I'm just gonna get this right back there in the middle. And I'm gonna pop this 
boom, right back up and it's locked there. Now your, your up and down switch is going to work like it's supposed to. So that's it guys. Quick little video. If your up and down switch on your mower has quit working, uh, it's just got a bunch of trash and debris in there. Pop the two tabs off, open it up, clean everything, put it back together and pop it back up. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you on the next one.